flying. Noise by the noise might be a little annoying. I'm in this garage at Guitar Center. We got cars coming back and forth. Um, I wanted to just take a quick moment to roll up a blunt before I get going. I'm gonna let y'all know now. I not that I'm against rolling blunts and shit. I don't really like smoking them because they kind of they can be harsh and shit. But sometimes. That should be necessary to roll up a blunt. If you know, you know, man. Like, it's just one of those things, man. Hey, what y'all do? Y'all prefer, prefer blunts or y'all prefer joints? I'm 95% joints. 5% blunt. But you know, when you're in California, you can really do what you want. And you know, a young nigga like me, I'm from Texas and I'm not used to this shit. So, it's dope to just be able to fucking smoke, man. Don't nobody need to be going to jail for no weed. Don't nobody need to be going to jail for no stupid ass shit like weed, man. This shit grow out the ground. I can accidentally drop a seed on the ground and that shit gonna more than likely grow. Cause it's what? A fucking weed. Jeez. I better look up Harry J and Slinger. If you went to college and you smoke weed, I'm sure you done done at least one goddamn, uh, paper on weed and shit. I'm pretty sure that's that nigga name. But he the main reason why we ain't, uh, you know what I'm saying, why weed was illegal in the first place. Cause this nigga had all of them goddamn stocks and investments in the medical field and in um, motherfucking paper and shit like that. So when hemp came around, when hemp and marijuana and all that shit, they started using that for for paper, they started using it for topical reasons. For, they started using it for like uh, sicknesses and all types of shit. He was like, oh hell no, I got too much money in these doctors. I got too much, oh, and he had, he had um, I think he had owned a press, a press uh, publication company. So, you know, they were starting to try to do shit on him, doing these papers and newspapers on him and shit. And that nigga was like, oh hell no, nah, man, I got too much money in these newspapers. I got too much money in these hospitals. I got too much money in this shit. Nah, you know what? Weed is bad. And you see these Negroes and these Mexicans? They smoking that shit and they going crazy. They raping people. They robbing people. You know what I'm saying? Look that shit up, man. Look up the history. I bet you there's a lot of niggas out here that smoke hella weed and don't even know that shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't be doing shit and you don't even know why or how it started. Anyways, I got some good old King Louie right here. We finna roll up. And for those of you who that, that do not know what King Louie is, King Louie is Indica. Um, I'm from Texas, so we mostly get sativa. You know, that's mostly what we be smoking on because who we can get our hands on. Uh, it's a lot of Blue Dream and Sour Diesel that we smoke down in Texas. Um, but yeah, man, getting up here, coming up to LA, it's really made me a big fan of Indica, though. That shit really gets you high. You know what I'm saying? Not that Sativa don't get you high, but that shit, Sativa gets you kind of turned up. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I like that shit, because I be in the studio or whatever. But for the most time, if I'm really just trying to chill, I'm going to give me some Indica. So that's the difference. If you don't know by now, if you smoking and you don't know that shit, Sativa, that's the shit that gets you lit. That's to give you your head high. You be up, you make you wanna do stuff, make you wanna go run, make you wanna um, do, you know what I'm saying? Just be active. And it also makes you paranoid. So if you smoking and you paranoid as fuck, it's probably cause you smoking on some sativa. But when you smoke on indica, it give you that body high. Sometimes that's a little bit too much for people because you be all slumped and you be in your chair, you be falling asleep. If you fall asleep after you smoke your weed, you smoking indica. So. You know what I'm saying? If you ever needed help trying to figure that shit out, Indica put you in the sheets. Sativa have you all. Sativa. You heard it here first. If you haven't heard it here before. And shout out to Juventus. They got me fly right now. But I don't kick Let's see how fast I roll this shit. I remember when I first started, the first blunt I, I rolled, ooh, that shit was so trash. Shout out to my nigga G-Man, bro. I think 
Yeah, it was me and then he was on our way to a party in high school, senior year, and we had some weed. We really wanted to smoke, but neither one of us could roll. So we low key took turns trying to roll up a damn blunt. We fucked the first one up. The second one had holes and shit all up in it, man. We had to fucking park at some fucking warehouse in the middle of fucking Manville, Texas, man. Like, and if y'all know what Manville, Texas is, that shit is in the fucking boondocks, nigga. So, you know, we, we doing the most damn nigga go to jail, get our ass beat up, robbed, killed, or whatever. It's, it's racist out there, you know, but we trying to figure out how to roll the fucking blood. That just go to show you, man, don't be dumbasses like us, man. <laughs> and if you ain't subscribed to my shit and you watching this right now, man, you better subscribe to my shit, bro. Flying. Don't be no whole ass nigga. Get your ass blocked. They call me the Kimbe Flame Tumbo. Don't play no games with you, nigga. Protect your energy at all times. Let's see how fast I can get this done. Also, man, don't let nobody have you feeling like you ain't no smoker just because your blunt ain't fat as hell, man. Smoke your weed. Y'all niggas be letting everything and everybody influence your motherfucking decisions, man. Be your own self. Be your own person, dog. Do stuff because you like it. You'd be surprised how much, how much productivity you'll have out of life if you just do things because you just genuinely like to do this shit. Spend more time... Spend more time figuring out what it is that you like, and you'll be having more happiness in your life. Simple as that. All right, I got my blunt here. You know, same thing, man. I put all my weed in here, I get it even. With my blunts, I don't really like to grind the weed too, too much. I grind my shit down when I smoke papers, though, because I like it to, to smoke. But with these blunts and shit, you know, a little thicker, so tobacco weed. Oh, I'm tweaking. I could have probably put more weed in this one, but it's okay. <laughs> Just roll up another one. You know, it's like cooking. You can always put more in, but you can't take it out. Well, actually, you can't take the weed out. That was never mind. But you know what I'm saying. You can always get high. You can always smoke. Them. Mm. Just like that, we got a blunt. It's a little skinny. It ain't that skinny, but whatever. I got more weed. Yeah, nigga. Mm.